Hey, I'm Adam Jusko from ProudMoney.com. The Tomo credit card, which in the past has billed itself as sort of a no-fee godsend for people without a credit history, just put out word that it is soon going to add what I consider to be a sort of shameful participation fee onto its credit card. Now, I haven't looked at this card closely in quite a while now, but a couple posts this weekend on some discussion boards mentioned that people who have the card got noticed that starting in May, there's going to be a new $2.99 participation fee each month, which is effectively a $35.88 annual fee added to the card. Now to be clear, I'm not saying that it is somehow shameful to add an annual fee to the Tomo credit card. Credit cards increase their annual fees all the time. Prices go up on goods and services across the board and Tomo is giving notice of the fact that this is going to change. So there's nothing wrong with putting a fee onto a card that didn't have a fee before. My issue is with the naming of the fee. I'm not sure if it's illegal, but it certainly feels unethical. It feels like what Tomo has decided to do is add an annual fee to the card, but call it a participation fee so that they can still say that the card has no annual fee while you are paying $35.88 if you hold it for a year. Now, Tomo might make the argument that this is not an annual fee, that the way credit card annual fees work is that you get charged the whole annual fee one time, once per year. This is a monthly fee where if you held the card for some portion of the year, but not the full year, you wouldn't pay that full annual fee, so this is only a monthly fee. But they're not even calling it a monthly fee, they're calling it a participation fee. And when the sort of recognized standard for credit cards is that they either have an annual fee or they don't, when you make a monthly participation fee, it looks like you're putting lipstick on the pig. You're doing an end around, you're doing a back door to add an annual fee onto your card without calling it an annual fee. Again, Tomo has every right to add an annual fee, but call it an annual fee. Don't try to backdoor it, even if your lawyers say that it is technically legal. Now, when the Tomo card first came out a couple years ago, I expressed a lot of skepticism about it because I could not understand how they were going to be profitable. No annual fee on the card, no late fees. They weren't gonna charge any interest because the whole balance has to be paid off every month, so you cannot revolve a balance, and so there are no interest charges either. All of their money, supposedly, or at least the vast, vast majority, was going to come from merchant fees, those small interchange fees that happen on every single credit card transaction. Well, I couldn't see how they were possibly going to be a profitable company under that sort of business model. Now, I assume they had all sorts of venture capital money to get things rolling, and maybe they thought they were going to branch out into other things, checking and savings accounts, maybe other credit cards that were going to have a different model. But somewhere along the line, they assumed that they were going to make money somewhere else because there was no way that this card was making money. And it looks like I was at least partially right because if you go on the Tomo credit card site now, there no longer is any sort of language that talks about no fees for the card and this participation fee, which maybe they've already been charging to new cardholders, I don't know, but existing cardholders getting it starting in May seems like the first step to keep the company afloat. I'm not sure if Tomo decided that this would be an easier way to swallow this fee or if people would be less likely to notice it if it was a monthly fee versus an annual fee, but it's not a participation fee. This is not the Tomo Club where everybody is getting some sort of, you know, excellent community benefit from having this credit card. So it's really a made up name. And it's interesting to see Tomo do this, especially when they came out a couple years ago with this sort of feel good story of being a credit card for people with no credit history, for people that are immigrants or for whatever other reason are being shut out of the credit system because they don't have a credit history to now turn around and add this kind of yucky fee. It takes away from that story. And it still could be a legitimate story for people that have no credit history. Maybe there still is value with the Tomo credit card, even at a $35.88 annual fee. But to call it a monthly participation fee so that you can keep the annual fee at zero and sort of backdooring it in there, it feels like you're disrespecting your customers. That is the end of the soapbox for me. I would love to hear your thoughts on it in the comments section below. Otherwise, I thank you for watching. And as always, please go to proudmoney.com where we do credit card reviews. We talk personal finance, we talk deals, and all sorts of other fun stuff too. If you're not going to go to the website or leave a comment, you might want to watch this video.